Welcome back. Politics now and the battle between California lawmakers and major employers like Uber and Lyft is heating up in Sacramento. A bill that could have a big impact on so-called gig economy workers is moving forward in the state capitol, but not everyone's on board. 17's Ashley Zavala is in our Sacramento bureau tonight to explain the debate. Supporters of AB5 crowded Capitol hallways Wednesday. Dozens of Uber and Lyft drivers along with labor unions urging lawmakers to pass the measure that would redefine many independent contractors as employees. I strongly support. Those backing the bill say companies misclassify workers as independent contractors to get around minimum wage, overtime and workers' compensation laws. The bill's author, Lorena Gonzalez, taking aim at the income inequality between gig company CEOs and their employees. The Lyft owner bought a 70 million dollar home the day after a story ran about how many of his workers are, are are sleeping in their cars. Where is the compromise? And they can sit here and say they care about their workers and they love to pr provide benefits. Well, they could have provided them with a lot more money. That we know. And they haven't. And they won't unless we force them to. Several other groups affected by AB5, including the trucking industry, are against the measure. Opponents worry the bill could hurt small businesses, startups, and workers who enjoy having a flexible schedule. I think it's going to be a blow to our economy. Um, I don't know how uh, new businesses are going to get started and be able to come up when, when again, most small businesses start. Um, uh, on a shoestring. Although the bill passed four to one in the Senate Labor Committee, lawmakers say a lot more discussion needs to happen, especially with companies like Uber and Lyft. The idea that they will go quietly uh, into the good night is, I think, delusional on all of our parts. So I appreciate the conversations that are ongoing. The bill now heads to the Senate Appropriations Committee before it can make it to the Senate floor. Reporting in Sacramento, Ashley Zavala.